Hi everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. And while I'm live tonight, I'm not really live. So I promised you guys, so I wouldn't ruin your Sunday night, that I would do a Facebook Live pre-recorded and post it at 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday night so you could have a little stamping fun with me. So I have to tell you, I am done with everything except my Facebook Live, so I'm in pretty good shape. It is 11.30 p.m. <laughs> I'm just going to start this, and when I get done, I still have to pack. I haven't touched that yet, and that's usually how I roll. I am a last-minute person. I seem to work well under pressure. I don't get too frazzled. And um, I'll be sleeping a lot on the airplanes tomorrow because this is really funny. I can't hardly get off the runway and in the air before I am sleeping. And um, my friend Dino, when we went to book our flights this time, I thought, well, I'll fly out of Appleton down to Chicago. She'll come up from Bettendorf, Iowa, and meet me in Chicago, and then we can fly together. So I said, are we flying together? And she said, no, you sleep the whole time anyways. <laughs> so I'm flying alone tomorrow, and that's fine, because then I won't feel guilty about sleeping. But there's all kinds of time to sleep. I used to say, you can sleep when you're dead. I got things to do. So... I am not going to do prize drawings today because the prizes go for a week, right? So from November 4th until November 11th. And then on that day, I usually go in and pick a prize for comments, a prize for sharing, and a prize for orders. So I think what I'll do is when I am back live on the... Ooh, I'm not going to be on the 18th either. We'll have to figure that one out, you guys, because that is opening gun hunting season in Wisconsin. Um, and I have a stamp club on Monday night, the 19th. So we might not have a Facebook Live that weekend. There's Maybe I could get something done again where I can pre-record, but I wouldn't um, count on it. <laughs> because it was... Um, it, it was a lot and I don't mean to go oh I did a lot but it was a lot to sit down and come up with the content for a pre-recorded Facebook live when I have a gazillion things to do to try to get out of town and um, gun hunting I think that's just gonna be a weekend that I take off and relax because I've it's been a stressful couple weeks <laughs> and we all need a little downtime right okay so um don't forget to share this video. Even though you're not watching me live on Sunday night, while you're watching me on Facebook, you can click on that share button. Don't forget to click the like button. Remember, sharing is caring. And um, if you're watching later on YouTube, you can also click on that share button and share my video. I really appreciate that, you guys. We had a ton of shares last week, and that is, that is just amazing for me. Um, thank you guys so much for your comments, for your sharing the video, for your interaction, for answering other people's questions, you know, while we're live and I'm busy doing things. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for your orders because those are what keeps me bringing you these free classes, basically. Um, so I really, really appreciate it. I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. Okay. What's happening? Um, we have the um, Snowflake Showcase. This is a limited edition for, is this backwards? Yeah, let me change that for just a second here. There we go. Okay, um, the Snow Shake, Snowflake Showcase. This is our November promotion, if you happen to miss it. I've got several videos on in the last week on my blog, www.stampabove.com, using these stamp sets. Um, I will have an online class coming out, I believe, mm, maybe next week. I don't know exactly what the date is, but watch my blog and watch Facebook. You'll see it, but an online class for this bundle of products. I have been having a blast with it. I am using it briefly tonight. I'm just using, um, I think, one of the snowflakes out of it, but 
can catch all those videos on my blog. I made some really cool stuff. The Color Fusers had a blog hop challenge and I used the stamp set. My weekly Wednesday tip video, you want to go check that out because that was really fun. I did some reverse stamping. First time I've done it. So that was neat. And then my Friday video is a new technique with silver foil sheets and um, stamp and blend alcohol markers, which was just Mm, beautiful. And you know what? It may not be a new technique, but I have never seen anybody do it. So I thought maybe I came up with something new. Who knows? I'm not usually one of those people that come up with all the new things, but if I did, yay me. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I usually show you guys the cards that I made during the week. So let me check this out. Oh, hey, remember our snowflake card? From last week oh I know this is really really like washed out okay oops hang on this is backwards and it's a gift card holder well this was the gift card holder that we made at my old-fashioned Christmas stamp camp this was designed by my um, downline Kathy Miller here's where your little gift card would go in and isn't that pretty with the winter woods oh before I forget you're going to want to stick around till the end because I have 20 different swap cards that I'm going to share with you using the Winter Woods bundle. And oh my Lord, they are just gorgeous. This is part of a bundle swap that I host um, every month. So you'll want to make sure you hang around and see that. And then... Here is my reverse stamping sample. You can find this in a video on my blog on Wednesday. This was really fun. I also did, hang on, let me get this apart. I also did some hinge stamping with the Stamparatus. So you want to check that video out. It's got a ton of tips in it. Here's another card that I made using the... Um, Happiness Surrounds. I might have shown you guys this one last week. And let's see, what else do I have? Oh, and this was my card that I made with the Color Fusers Blog Hop. We had to use Early Espresso, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Crumb Cake and Very Vanilla. And I, I think I, I nailed it. And again, some more, whoops, hinge stamping. So you want to check out those videos on my blog. And since I don't have you guys to talk to, I don't have a lot to say tonight. <laughs> I'm just praying that I get my tiara in my suitcase because when Barb, Dina, and I get together, we have to wear our tiaras because we're better together and our tiaras make us feel special. <laughs> All right, I think I am going to turn my um, camera around. Oh, one other thing. Three items that are no longer available. The Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series Paper. That's the, uh, let me show you, the gorgeous Christmas paper. Um, Stampin' Up! ran out. People bought this like crazy. And um, because it won't get into the warehouse if they reorder, it won't get in before the before Christmas. They just turned the number off. And that's just something that happens once in a while. The Festive Farmhouse Elements are gone, and the Santa's Workshop Enamel Dots, and those are these. I think I showed these to you last week. So, just want to let you know what's going on so you can keep up on all this stuff. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. I think that's it. All right, let me put that back so I don't lose it. Oh, don't forget, everybody placing a minimum $35 order. Remember this from last week? Everybody placing a minimum $35 order. That's got a wobbler in it, and um, this does wobble in real life. It's hard to see it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? When you place a $35 order with me between now and the end of November 12th, I am going to send you a kit so you can make one of these gift card boxes. This has two compartments in it in case you missed it last week. It holds a gift card or I was saying that you could put in a pack of gum, make it a nice stocking stuffer. You could put some earrings in here or maybe perhaps 
I would love to have some new car keys in there. <laughs> I really need a new vehicle, so maybe, maybe not. But anyways, um, all orders of $35 or more will receive a template so that you can make this. You're going to need the Spirited Snowman stamp set, so when you put in that order to get you the template, you might want to order that. Um, there's other things that you could use, certainly, for making this little box, but just so you know, Spirited Snowman. Okay, we're going to flip the camera around so I can get started here. And, okay, close your eyes if you get uh, motion sickness, and I'll let you know when you can open them back up. All right, so far so good. So I do have my phone plugged in. For those of you that are always helping me with that, please know that I really, really do appreciate that. I can use all the tips I can get when I'm doing this. And let's see, I'm gonna tilt it up just a little bit here. You see this piece of ribbon? This is where when I'm videotaping for my weekly videos, not tonight, Facebook Live is a little bit different. This is a piece of ribbon that I put here because I always end up coming down here and working and I need to push my stuff up here so people can see it. So this is my little ribbon um, boundary line that I had to stay above and I'm going to move this down just a little bit for the Facebook Live and make sure that I keep you guys in the frame so you can see what the heck I'm doing too. All right, I have some really cool projects for you. And I have to admit, the first one that I'm going to make, I haven't actually made it yet. <laughs> I know. I'm going out on a limb thinking that I can do this. And um, it could possibly be an incredible disaster. But I'm thinking that it's not going to be. So we're going to give it a whirl. I have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Christmas paper here. And I'm bringing in a couple embossing folders. I've got my ink pads. I'm using Cherry Cobbler and Shaded Spruce are the colors that I chose. A couple other little stamps here. Oh, did I tell you guys you can open your eyes? I'm sorry. I forgot. You know, you know how it goes. It's a little crazy. I've also die cut some um, vellum cardstock circles using the stitched shape circles. And you know what? I'm going to get this Facebook Live on my computer, so just hang tight. Take a drink. You guys can comment on the video just like it's live. Your comments will all appear on the Facebook page. I might even be able to watch on Sunday Night Live from Orlando, so that would be kind of funny, too. While you guys are watching, I can watch, too. Okay, I want to bring this up so that I can... Make sure that I'm staying in the screen. That's important, right? All right. I'm using the All is Bright Designer Series paper. And you've seen me use this before for various cards. I've done a lot of fun stuff with this. So um, we're using the one with the bells. There's one with just berries and little gold ornaments. And then there's the one with the bells and the lights. And that's the one that we're going to use tonight for, this, for these cards. And I decided that... I wanted to make several cards just kind of to show you how absolutely gorgeous this paper is that you can make Christmas cards very easily with it. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do, usually I have my um, layers all die cut and I do have everything die cut. So don't worry. Don't go. I, I know some of you are probably at home rolling your eyes going, oh my Lord, she's going to make us watch her die cut all this stuff. Oh heck no. I love you guys. I would never do that to you. <laughs> but I am going to grab my big shot and bring it in here because I did not emboss my layers ahead of time. And I think what I'm gonna do, I chose two embossing folders. I have shaded spruce here, four pieces. These are four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to put them, this is the tin tile dynamic embossing folder. Oh, I love, love, love this, right? And let's get that rolling. Remember, you only use one plate with these extra thick embossing folders. Just one plate on top. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, you know what? I'm going to turn that light off that 
usually, whoops, sorry. <laughs> that usually makes that glare because that can be a bit much when I've got my camera turned this way. Oh, and I need to take the mirroring off. Oh, I'm glad that we're looking at this. See, somebody was probably reminding me through like ESPN. <laughs> That's a family joke. You know ESP where you can read minds? Well, I think when somebody was little that's in our family, I don't know if it was me or my sister, but we were talking about it and one of us said, oh yeah, remember? You know, you probably know that because of ESPN. So that's what we always call ESP is ESPN. And yeah, do you find it a little strange that I can sit here and talk to virtually nobody? <laughs> because I don't have a live audience, but yeah, I can talk to just about anybody anytime. My husband usually makes fun of me. Um, when I first started doing all these videos, he would holler in from the living room and go, who are you talking to in there? Or he'd you know, get up at midnight to get a drink of water. Oh, by the way, this is the swirls and curls embossing folder. I thought this would be really pretty too. And he would um, holler down the stairs and say, who are you talking to? Like there was somebody here at midnight. And I'm like, I'm making a video. Stop talking to me. So now he knows. I'm just in here all the time talking to myself. And I'm pretty good company, <laughs> I have to say. Okay, let's get this monster out of the way. And what did I do with that other? Oh, here's the other embossing folder. I can get rid of that too. Okay, are you guys ready to do some fun stuff? Oh, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus because if we're making Christmas cards, we are mass producing, right? And when we mass produce, we use a Stamparatus because why wouldn't you? If you don't have one of these, you guys, I can tell you that it's one of the best tools I've ever purchased. I love, love, love the Stamparatus. I'm just going to set some cardstock here because I know these plates glare at you something terrible, I'm sure. And I'm going to bring in my pieces. Now, this is two inches by five and an eighth, all of these. And then these are two and an eighth by five and a quarter. I've, oh, and this is cherry cobbler. These are standard card size, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to find my little bone folder here. Well, let's get this out of the way. Just a second. And I'm going to just fold all these in half. I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I know my week was pretty short at home because, um, you know, I left for Florida I leave tomorrow morning, which it seems so weird to be talking about it. You're going to watch this on Sunday, and I left on last Tuesday, so that's weird. But I leave tomorrow morning. I don't have to get up till 5.30. My stepdaughter's picking me up at 6.30, and I always, always, always shower when I fly because if I don't shower, I feel kind of grimy, and nobody likes, you know, like, I don't know. I need to be clean when I travel. It's a long day of traveling. You know, it's annoying to travel. Okay, so not really sure what we're going to do here, but I came up with this idea. Where'd that white piece? Okay, so this is just a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and I am going to put this in my Stamparatus. And again, I'm just going to set a card here so that doesn't glare at you like crazy because I hate that. I'm going to bring in my magnets, put one up here and one down here, and then I want to, oh, here we go, got this stamp. Oh, remember you guys when I told you I lost the inside verse from the Healing Hugs stamp set? Yeah, well, I found it. So, I know, I was pretty darn happy about that. Um... Yeah, it was pretty exciting. All right, so I've got different words here. We've got the, hang on a second, Merry, Happy, Holidays, and Christmas. So we're going to do, do the Merry here and the Holidays. And how about some Blessings? Ooh, 
weird. I just kind of got a little dizzy. How strange is that? And the happy. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have four. I didn't realize I would have that many. So I'm going to do this and this and this. And let's see how am I going to do this. Let me think for just a second. Oh, we're going to stamp this first. I'm going to stamp this. All right, so I've got that locked in place. Don't worry about this moving. You can always push it back up into the corner where it belongs. I'm going to ink this up with shaded spruce ink. And I'll tell you what, our stampin' spots, did I show those to you? Let me see, do I have any? I've got a Memento Black and a Coastal Cabana, yeah. Um, these little ink spots, these are fabulous for using with stamps on the Stamparatus versus these great big giant ink pads. So you might wanna think on about getting some of these. You get five in a pack for $9. And then you just grab a re-inker and squirt it in there with whatever color you want. And then I like to write on the bottom, you know, what color I have in here. But these are super nice for using with the Stamparatus. Just to, makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that. And then let me think about this for a second. Um... I think what I'd like to do is maybe some hinge stamping, which means we're going to stamp that over here instead of over there. And I think that's a great idea. So watch this. This just came to me, and I think it's going to be pretty, pretty smart. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. This is going to take your tool to a whole, whoops, whole new level and I think I'm going to move this out just a little bit hang on a second let's turn this around remember this is just a scrap piece of cardstock this is not whisper white it's just some really crummy white cardstock that I use to make templates and stuff when I am trying to figure out you know boxes or I print stuff out on it okay so there's one and then I'm going to use my hinge and bring it down one. Here's another one. Make sure you're pushing it back up into the corner. I could put my magnets in here, which I probably should do because people yell at me when I don't use the magnets. And they say, why don't you use your magnets? And I just don't use them because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's why. I just, some, you know, you need the magnets for some things but not for others. Okay, so there's four different um, little frame box things. And I'm going to cross this one off. Yay. And now what I'm going to do, now remember, we just took this plate and moved it from hinge to hinge. Now I'm going to bring in my other plate, and I'm going to line up the words. So I've got holiday, Sometimes these are tricky because see how it's sticking to my finger? It's hard to make them stop touching you. And then I've got blessings. That's a nice greeting, right, for Christmas? <laughs> Once you get this set up, you guys, you're golden. Um, I want the Christmas one. I need to find that. Hang on. I don't want to lose any of these. We already had a near miss last week, right? Here's the Christmas one. So what else did I have here? I had Mary and Happy. I'm going to put Happy away. Well, we'll see. And the Mary I'm going to put away. And I'm going to bring in the Christmas. That's what I wanted. Oh, I'm not going to put both of those away. Hang on. We'll bring Mary back in. There it is. Okay. So we're going to lay these all down in here. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be, this is going to be so very cool. Hang on. You got to get them straight for this first time. So this takes a little setup, you know. This is the putsy part. But then comes the awesome part. Ugh. 
I just moved this one. Let go. Okay, I think I got it. Let me stand up and look at it. That looks pretty good, you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> So you could use just one word and use the hinge stamping to stamp it in every box, but I'm going to make, I hope, four different cards. So I've got Cherry Cobbler ink here. Yay! Perfect! Okay, now, this is what I'm going to do. Remember, this is my template, so I'm going to take this out, and this is the part where you're going to go, oh, Kelly. I am going to bring my big shot back in here. I've got my magnetic plate in here, so that's good because that'll help hold things in place. And I'm going to, did you guys see that frame? Oh, here it is. This could ruin the whole day. I'm going to, oh, I don't have the magnetic plate in there. Hang on. Let me bring in the magnetic plate. This thing is wonderful for holding your dies in place. I use this more than I use probably any of the other plates I have. And sometimes you have problems like this where your magnet is being weird. Just move it and do a different one or move your cardstock around. I don't know why. It, there's some sciency explanation for this. This hole or something or another. I don't know. I'm not a sciency person. I'm a stamper. <laughs> I always love that. It's like, me. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's one. And remember, this is crummy start cardstock. I'm not even using it. I'm just cutting out my templates. And by all means, if you only were going to use one of these, you would only do this once. But I want all of these, I think. We don't know yet, right? Yeah, we're gonna figure that out. There's my next one. So I spent the day, I got my nails done today, you guys. I love, love, love this deep, like, um, I don't know, deep berry color. Then she threw some, I had gold glitter put on this time. That was fun. I got my toes done too, because it's pretty warm in Florida. I'm excited to get to wear flip-flops again. It's probably a good thing because oh, I told you I gained a bunch of weight back. And I know my jeans are like, feel like a stuffed sausage. But we'll work on that later. No need to worry about it right now. I'm going to on stage. I'm going to have a good time and I'm not worrying about it till I get back. Okay, last one. Are you guys still hanging with me? I hope so. All right, here we go. Let me get this out of the way. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my cup and my Pepsi. Oh, that's good. Okay, back to our Stamparatus. Here it comes. And here's what I'm going to do. Let me find all my pieces here. I'll stuff that over there. I have die cut a whole bunch of crumb cake labels from the same label die cut. And you want to make sure this is pushed all the way into the corner because that's where we, you know, made our template for this. Don't let your magnets touch together because that will have bad consequences. But we're going to take these. Oh my gosh, I so love this. And we're going to pop these right in place. So all you're going to do is cut out a bunch of images, you know, die cut a bunch of whatever your images are. I think I showed you the Santa Claus last week that you can just die cut a whole bunch of those and set it in the template and stamp them perfectly with a Stamparatus. Yeah. And this is perfect when you're doing multiple cards, like crazy lots of cards. Okay. Here comes... I'm going to do my frame first. Here comes my frame. And I'm going to bring in my shaded spruce. See what I mean by getting ink all over? It certainly doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to 
this is gonna pull this up just a little bit. Don't worry about that because this is our template. We can push this right back down, but the rubber sticks to it. This isn't gonna work so good if it's doing this, is it? Okay, there we go, I got it smoothed out. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this back in here because we're gonna do some more stuff to it. Okay, we're gonna hinge stamp. Maybe you're only gonna be able to do one of these at a time, I don't know, like I said, I didn't test this out, but it seems pretty brilliant to me. Ooh, look how cool! Yeah, it keeps moving it. Just move those out of the way. Here we go. I have to put some, maybe get an extra magnet to hold the sheet down. That might work. I don't have any, well, I shouldn't say that. I've got three Stamparatuses. I bought three of them so that I would have them for, you know, stamp camps and stuff like that. Ooh, that's not right. See, it moved. You gotta have it up there in the corner. That's right. And we have one more. So yeah, I think another magnet would work good for this. And this is the magic of live TV. Oh my gosh, I keep putting that magnet by the other magnet. <laughs> it won't leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. Stop touching me. Oops, I don't think I got that inked up good enough. Okay, here comes that last one. Okay, boom. Now, this is where things are gonna go, right? And again, I think if I would've had another magnet, this would've stayed in place better. Or use a bigger sheet of paper and put another magnet over here. That's a really good idea. Ooh, I need to redo that one. Because look at the end of it, it doesn't look that great. Oh, that's crooked too. The heck? I think I'll turn it over and stamp it again. What was I doing, you guys? Did you see what I did? I don't know how I messed that up. But such is life. Okay, here we go. No sense in crying over spilled milk. That's what they say. There we go. That looks better. And we're going to pull this all the way up here. And do that. Okay, perfect. See, I never bring out two magnets at once because you don't want to let them smack together. Now, obviously this isn't, this isn't being very nice to me. How about if we do that? We're gonna keep working on it, you guys, till we get it right. I am not a quitter. Okay, then we're gonna bring in our other plate. Remember this with all the words? Uh-huh. And our cherry cobbler ink. And I just stuck my finger in it. Hang on just a second. I have people ask me what are the best wipes to use? Um, this doesn't have a label on it, but the Huggies One and Done. So it's O-N-E and Done are the best ones. They have no lint on them. They're a good quality. I know people that buy really cheap um, baby wipes are not very happy with them. Look at that! Yay! We got all the Christmas and the blessings. My holiday turned out really good. My blessings is a little weak. My Christmas is a little weak. I think I missed the ink pad. Like I didn't stamp it very good. So hang tight. I'm just gonna ink those up again because you can do this with the Stamparatus. It's amazing like that. And make sure they're nice and dark. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice, doesn't it? And the Mary. Okay, here we go. We're gonna move this out of the way. So you can see how that would be beneficial if you used more magnets to hold it in place. Now we're gonna bring these cards in and make something spectacular. I am gonna get out my glue. 
and glue the designer series paper to the cherry cobbler layer and I love that pop of cherry cobbler under there what do you guys think spectacular and here comes another one oops this one kind of crooked there we go has been happening this week we are going um, on December 1st is that a Saturday if that's a Saturday my daughter made an appointment to go to the bridal shop to try on wedding dresses so that's gonna be fun I have a card buffet that day but um my friend Kathy, who does them with me, said, oh, you can go, go to the card buffet, or go to the bridal shop, she'll take care of the card buffet, so I'll probably leave, I don't know, around noon or something, so we can go do that, my mom's coming to town, so she can go too, it's going to be so fun, all right, here we go, the swirls and curls, I just wanted a tone on tone with this, so we've got the shaded spruce, on shaded spruce and then I'm gonna bring this in here oh my gosh so 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 pretty let's see I think I'm gonna glue this down I had one card as a template um, my friend Kathy made a card and that's what sparked all this I'm like oh that would be so pretty Okay, I am going to bring in one of these vellum circles. And then, you guys, I put the um, adhesive paper on the back of some glimmer paper, and I die cut all the words that come in the Merry Christmas Thinlet dies. All of these words you're going to see in just a second. So let's pop this out. I wanted you guys to see this and see how this, how well this cuts. I was really, really happy with the way this cuts because it really cuts out these letters nicely. And now I'm just going to poke out the little things in the middle, you know, like the A's and the P's and the, yeah. There we go. Oops, we still got one there. Okay, and then because the sticker paper's on the back of here, you can just put your pokey tool in there and pull the sticker paper off the back and I'm going to I think I'm just going to stick this down I'm gonna add a little bit of glue now you can always see glue through the vellum so you want to be careful like where you place it so I'm gonna put it right here don't worry about that because I'm going to cover it up in a second. Eh. And we're going to do happy right here like this. And happy. Why isn't there an S on this holidays? <laughs> happy. Oh, there's a holidays word. Okay, so pretend that I used this holidays word instead of this one. But we're just going to keep moving along because, you know, mistakes happen. Happy holiday. Well, I guess you could say happy holiday. I'm wishing you a happy holiday. Eh, maybe. So that'll be okay. And I'm going to go right like this. And then we're going to come in with some diamonds. And I think I'll just add... I just thought um, my friend's card has some diamonds on it, and I thought they were very charming and the perfect little embellishment to this card. Maybe we'll put another one just right here. Ooh, what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Striking? Easy? We'll do the inside in a minute. Let's do the next one. All right. Um... Now I'm just going to kind of go along in an assembly line fashion here. So we're going to put all of the fronts on. 
Here's that one that used the tin tile embossing folder. Add that here. I think this is going to be really pretty too because I don't know, it's just got that Christmassy feel, don't you think? The tin tile. And then the last one. Here we go. I could see cranking a lot of these out. All right. This one I am going to add the panel over here instead. And then we're going to bring in the circle. And again, I'm going to put that probably right about here. Don't worry about that glue because we're going to bring in that Mary. Ooh, look at I pulled it right off the paper. The backing is staying in the thing. I had that happen before too, and I really like it. You gotta be gentle with it because this is very delicate. There we go. Winning so far. <laughs> We're gonna go Mary. Oops. Isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous? Here comes our Christmas. I'm going to put this on a dimensionals. See, these are the kind of things that I usually have all done and ready to roll. And here comes our Christmas. And then, did you guys see? Oh, here's my diamonds. Let me put some, a diamond here. And... A diamond right here and another diamond I have to say it's really not as fun to do Facebook live when you're not here with me <laughs> isn't that pretty love it okay let's see what do we have left we have um, holidays and Christmas so uh, holidays and Christmas Christmas blessings, and we're just going to do Merry Holidays. So that's the way it's going to go. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> All I know is I wanted to die cut everything and show you how pretty, pretty, pretty it was. Here comes this. And then I'm going to bring in this circle and add that right here. Let's see, Christmas, I'm gonna do Christmas blessings on this one. Let's see if I can get that to come off that paper again. That was pretty sweet. Oh, yep, here it comes. Ta-da! Hope I don't wreck it. It really is more sturdy if you take it off, um, the whole thing out at once, but if you're really careful, this will work too. So we're gonna go with <laughs> yeah, this is challenging. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? Christmas blessings. I'm going to do that one here. And... Love it. Some more rhinestones. Oh, and you guys might notice that I'm using some old rhinestones. Um, this is all I have left. I have used up all my rhinestones. The new ones come, I don't know, I like the new ones better. Um, but we don't have these strips of them anymore. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> I love that. Okay, we have one more. And our last word is happy. No, holidays. So I'm going to do Merry Holidays. I'm a little different anyways, right? And I think I'm going to do that one over on the side here instead of the left side. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And another vellum Oops, circle. I think we'll do that. 
right here. Here comes our Mary, if I can get it off of there. Dimensionals. How many of you have your Christmas cards planned or made or are making them? I usually have enough samples from doing these kind of things and, you know, stuff for my videos that I can send those out. So it's, um, I oftentimes don't need to sit down and mass produce a ton. I might have to do some, but I use all the samples that I make during the whole season, which is pretty darn cool, right? And of course, my family loves to get cards from me, and I love to make them for them. All right, I didn't poke out all the things here, so just hang tight. Gotta get all the things out. I don't want to rip this. Oh, you know what? I lost the eye for the holidays. You want to pay attention to that so you don't lose that little bugger. Let's see if I have it here someplace. All right, ooh, this might not have been the best idea for such a big word. We'll see if I can make it happen. <gasps> Look at that, yay! Okay, was there a polka dot someplace that I could use for that eye? Where's my eye? Oh, the eye fell right out of there. Well, you have to be more mindful of that, I guess. But I don't think anybody's going to complain about it, do you? All right, so there's four Christmas cards. And now I'm going to bring in a piercing mat. Oh, I know what. We're going to do this. We're going to bring in our other plate here. Let me grab my baby wipe. I'm going to wipe this off. Because, you know, I'll stick my hand in it. <laughs> You know how I operate, don't you? Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna come in with my greeting. We're gonna get rid of this. We can keep this and use it again, definitely. We're gonna bring in this piece and this is gonna be the inside of our card. Now I'm gonna do this in Cherry Cobbler. And here's my cherry cobbler. Oops, here's another holiday. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then before I move it away, I did bring in these little hollies so that I could stamp a little color in there. So there's one. And again, for stamping greetings, this thing is the bomb because you're not going to have any crooked words. If it doesn't stamp all the way, you can just push down a little harder and ink it up. It's perfect, right? I know. Oh, see that little edge right there on the... Ink that up a little bit more. There we go. That's nice and dark. And I just messed that up. Hang on, let me see if I can fix it. Yep, perfect. <laughs> I love photopolymer, don't you? Photopolymer is the bomb. Now, of course, some of these words, you can just stamp them. This one is not real hard because um, it's not one of those words that's easy or greetings, I should say, that's easy to get crooked. So you don't have to worry about that too much, but like I said, if I don't stamp it all the way, like that, I did it again, you guys. Sometimes we don't really learn. <laughs> um, if you don't get it stamped all the way, you can give it another shot. And then I'm going to move this out so I don't do it again. I did it anyways. I guess I'm trying to go a little too fast. Let's slow down a little bit, Kelly. Okay. I will clean this up later. 
and I don't want that to fall on the floor, so hang on. There we go. And we've got four insides for our cards. Oh, you know what I did, you guys? Are you, are you laughing at me right now? All of these cards are not this way. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> I'll have to redo that one. I'll do it sideways. <laughs> I'm just going to set this in here. Don't tell anybody. They'll never know. I have to redo two of them. So yeah, here, this one looks absolutely stunning. Hang on while I get my glue out of the bottle. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, there we go. And I'll redo this one too. Don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. I'm going to take care of it. But there we have just four stunningly beautiful Christmas cards. Don't you love these? Yeah, that paper is the bomb. And of course, the gold glimmer paper, you know, that doesn't hurt anything either. This was the Merry Christmas to All stamp set and the Merry Christmas Thinlet dies. They are, go oh, let me get this back in here. I don't wanna lose anything. They are beautiful, and you've seen me use these before, too. So, all right, hang tight. I've got a really cute project coming up, and I'm going to put this away, too. I think I need to wipe this off, because that's going to really bother me. Okay, that should go in the garbage. I think I have enough ink on that one. <laughs> All right, next, next up, clean up my mess here a little bit. Take a drink, relax. Ah. Here comes our next project. And this one involves some chocolate, so I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. <laughs> We're gonna be using the Takeout Thinlet Dyes, the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper, and then I've got the Striped Burlap Trim. This is really pretty for Christmas. We might use the Sprig Punch. I have two more samples to show you once we get our project made. And I'm bringing out an oldie but a goodie. Who remembers this? Cookie Cutter Christmas. It has been so long since I used this stamp set. I was like, oh, I can use my cookie cutter stamp set. That would work perfect for this. Okay. Let me get out my cardstock layers here. I'm going to bring in a piercing mat because you guys know I like to stamp on that. And then I'm going to show you what I did here. So this is my leftover piece. The Takeout Thinlets has a matching stamp set. This is the die, and you're going to die cut this here, run it through, die cut it, and then bring it over here and run it through and die cut it. And then I took this cute little tag. There's um, several different tags and a star, but I took this cute little tag and I die cut that right here. So a half a sheet of cardstock will give you one of these um, Chinese takeout containers that is so adorable. So let me show you what I came up with. I just thought this was a really fun die to have. And again, all the holidays, not just Christmas. And I have a sample to show you from Halloween, so you'll love that. Oh, I don't need this. This is our Joyous Noel Designer Series paper. This is actually on back order, but will be in the warehouse on the 12th. So you can put this on an order, and when Stampin' Up! gets it in, they'll just ship it separately if your order goes out before then. So Joyous Noel Designer, or Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. This is gorgeous, gorgeous um, glitter paper. All right, I am going to take my Cherry Cobbler takeout box. 
I've got a little baker's twine here, some of the red glimmer paper, and then I die cut this little tag, and I've got a scrap of crumb cake. So the first thing I wanted to do is I used the snowflake that comes in the Snow is Glistening stamp set. This is our November promotion, only available during November. Um, so I used one of the snowflakes out of the Snow is Glistening stamp set. And I think I need that Cherry Cobbler ink back. Hang on a second, what did I do with that? Did I put it away? Did you guys see where, I, no, I didn't put it away. I want to be that organized. That would, oh, here it is. Yeah, that would be crazy. All right, we've got, ooh, cherry cobbler. <laughs> yeah, can you tell it's, it's, it's been a long day. It's starting to get kind of late for me. I shouldn't say that. I usually don't go to bed. I've been staying up till like 3.30. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> don't worry, I get enough sleep. I sleep in in the morning. I don't have to get up early. Except for this morning, I had to get up by... I was up by 8.30. And I know some of you might think that's just insane. But, um, yeah, I get, you know, six hours, seven hours of sleep a night. So I'm not depriving myself of anything. I just like to stay up late. I think I like it... I'm just a night owl. And I seem to work better. I can be more creative at night. I can mess around all day and not accomplish a thing. But if I'm staying up late at night, I just find that, oh, my creative juices just get going. It's a thing for me. And a lot of you guys operate really good in the morning, right? Not me. I'm not crabby or anything. I just prefer to sleep. <laughs> that's what I guess that's a good way to put it. Okay, I am going to bring in a memento ink pad for the tag. And in the cookie cutter Christmas is this little to and from stamp. And that's what I'm going to use here. Oops, I almost put it in the wrong ink. Let's stand up to make sure I'm getting this on here. And I thought how cute that you can do the to and the from and write who it's to and from. Okay, and then... I'm going to show you how we're going to put the box together. Everything is already scored. All of these little tabs have score lines on them. So you're just going to fold them over and make sure you fold the top down too before you put it together because I found when I didn't do that it was a little... it wasn't as nice. I mean, it would have folded nicer if I had done that ahead of time. So fold that top down. Here comes that tab on this one and this one. And I heard somebody say that these make really nice tombstones for Halloween too. So that's kind of fun. Okay, we're going to use our glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, maybe. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. A little bit of glue on this. Hold that together for just a few seconds. Then we're going to bring this one in and do the same thing. A little bit of glue on that tab. And then, oops, I didn't fold this. Don't forget to do that. We're going to bring this in. We're going to square it up nicely. I was really happy with the way these went together because this tonight was the first time, I think, that I used these. I don't think I've used them yet. Now, now you have two pieces, okay? And they go together, whoops, they go together just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue in here on the bottom. And then we're gonna put some glue on the tabs that are left that need to be glued together. That one and this one. All right, here we go. Now, I'm just gonna hold one side together here, not really worry about the other side. Make sure it's squared up nicely. These go together super, super easy, like really, really easy. And now I'm gonna come over here. You see my glue in there? I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pinch this one. 
Now these would be really cute little treat boxes for Secret Santa at work, stocking stuffers. I could see these for baby showers, wedding showers, you name it, shower away. And what am I gonna put in my boxes? I am going to put chocolate because why wouldn't you? Look how many kisses fit in there. This is like amazing. I don't know if anybody deserves that much chocolate. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then just like a Chinese takeout, you've got the little slit there. Just push that together. Look at how super cute that is. Now, obviously, I need to do something else to this, right? I'm going to put some white baker's twine in my little tag. And add that. I think I'm just gonna cut this off about right here. I don't know how much I need. That's probably really excessive. Then we're gonna stamp. And I'm bringing in the reindeer. And we're going to, whoops, we're gonna stamp the reindeer in early espresso ink. And he is so, so, so cute. Now, one thing I remembered after I stamped it wrong is you need to stamp your reindeer upside down so that your punch will fit in to punch him out. And look at how cute this is. And here is your adorable little reindeer. Now, I have another really cool little thing, so watch this. I'm going to come in here with a piece of glimmer paper, and you know what? I'm just going to cut a sliver out of here because we don't need that big of a piece, so hang tight. This is the Cherry Cobbler Glimmer Paper. I'm going to bring this in, and I am going to... Well, let me turn this around. That side has kind of a tear in it. I'm going to bring this in to about right there. Guess what? The leg on the punch is going to make the nose. My glue would have cooperated. It would have been a lot more excitement there. How cute is that? Look at that. Yay! Then the other thing that I thought of to do to this is to bring in the white stamp and chalk marker. And are we going to get into a discussion again about horns on a deer? <laughs> We're going to color the antlers or the horns if you prefer to call them that. I will let you go with both. <laughs> and then what I did is I grabbed my dimensionals. Let's see if I can find some big dimensionals. These are all empty. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Jeez. Glad they didn't bite me, right? And I'm going to put two dimensionals. You're going to take the backing off the first one that you put on under his face. So when I say uh, under his face, here's his face. I put two dimensionals here and one dimensional here. And we're going to peel the back off. We're going to add our little reindeer to our takeout box. The reason why I did two is because the takeout box is slanted and I wanted his face to be up a little better. So one, two under here and one there works perfect. And then we're going to, oh, we're gonna use this, which I think is gonna be really, really cool. This is in the holiday mini catalog and this is the first time I'm using it, but I love burlap and I thought, wow, it's already got a cherry cobbler stripe in it, so how darn perfect is that, right? So I just bent his horn over. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love this. All right, let me get this cut off here. So we can finish our little project and I'll show you some samples. And then the white baker's time. This kind of goes along well with the white that's in the burlap trim. So that kind of works out good, right? And 
there we go. I'm just going to tie this pretty close. I don't want it, you know, flying out there too far. There we go. <laughs> Super cute. Maybe I would even put a white tag on here instead of a cherry cobbler so that that would, you know, pop a little bit more. That might be a good option. And there's our little reindeer. Super, super sweet little box of candy. Now, um, I have one more thing here that I wanted to show you. And let me close this up before you know what happens. <laughs> I'm using soft suede ink here. And I just, who doesn't love a little gingerbread man? Isn't he the sweetest? And then where did that other glimmer paper go? what I did with it, but we're going to do a little... Oh, here it is. It's still in my punch. This is super cute. And here we go with this. Oh, let's punch him out. He is adorable. And then, of course, this glimmer paper is perfect. the little bow. Isn't that sweet? Love him. So that's another thing that you could put on these little boxes. Wouldn't that be adorable also? Yeah, I know, right? Okay, let's get this cleaned up. I'll show you the other samples that I have that are so adorable. Oh, I was going to use a sprig punch on my Christmas cards and I forgot, but I do think that that would be Really, really pretty. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens if we put some glimmer paper sprigs on here. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? I like that a lot. That's pretty. And of course we have the green and we have the, um, I call this pumpkin pie, but they're calling it copper. So very, very pretty. I like that. All right, so let me get this cleaned up. You guys, take a drink. We're going to have just a tiny little intermission while I move some of this stuff out of my way so I can have a decent-looking space here, right? Okay. Here we go. We've got our cutie patootie chocolate filled takeout box and then here's one that I made out of crumb cake and I used the cherry cobbler stitched ribbon this is in the annual catalog cherry cobbler ink on here crumb cake box here's our little tag to and from isn't that just sweet love it and then this is a little box that I got as a swap, actually. And this uses the star that's in the takeout thinlet dies right here. And then the trick or tweet stamp set. And then some of the elements out of the um, cauldron bubble stamp set. So this is just adorable. And these are the tags that are in here, too. I just realized that. This tag right here, that's what these are cut out of. So isn't that just so, so sweet? This is adorable. I love it. So there we go. Halloween, Christmas, you name it. Just about anything, any type of a holiday. Great Secret Santa stuff. And here's our Christmas cards without the right insides. Oh, don't, don't remind me, right? And aren't these just so, so pretty? Yeah. Oh, this was, <laughs> um, which one? Oh, this is the one. This is the one I got from my friend Kathy. That's what um, sparked this whole set of cards. I thought, oh, I wonder what it would look like with all the different words. And just thought it was such a beautiful, striking card. So you guys, um, don't forget, oh, I'm going to show you 20 swap cards too, but before I do that, don't forget, you can get a free template with your $35 order. My website is right here. If you came in, well, you're not going to come in late because I'm not live. Don't forget to share my video on Facebook and YouTube. I really appreciate that. 
And let's set this stuff aside and I'll bring in the Winter Woods cards. 20 swap cards to show you. Okay, here comes, whoops, let me get a hold of it. Here comes the first one. Look at that beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this, this die, this Christmas tree die and the shimmer or um, sparkle paper. And um, there's also some embossing paste on the tree. I hope you can see that. It's really pretty. This is one of my favorites. This uses the first frost. No, no, no. Yeah, is that what it's called? White frost. Is that what it's called? White frost shimmer paint. Very, very pretty. Here's another one. Love this. Love the punch here. And that gingham ribbon. I was kind of looking the inside to see there's anything stamped on the inside. Most of the time we do not stamp on the inside. I love this one. This has got a vellum overlay. Look how pretty that is. It's just so soft and subtle. And the vellum goes all the way over the back. Yeah, very, very pretty. I think this is Granny Apple Green for the card base. Here's another one using the Merry Christmas Thinlets. This is very pretty. Love, love, love this. Isn't this gorgeous? This is the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. That's really pretty. I love this. Of course, Blackberry Bliss is one of my favorite colors, but look at the beautifulness. And this is Dazzling Diamonds with some um, liquid glue to hold it on. It's just very, very pretty and sparkly. And then we've got this one, which I love. I love how they use those like kind of those trees for more like sprigs coming out the side here. This designer series paper is in the annual catalog. Very, very pretty. Here's another beautiful card. And it's a, just a note. This is perfect, right? Thinking of you this season, isn't this pretty? Brusho in the background. I love this. Let heaven and nature sing. That's a fun greeting. And look at the little bows that are on the Christmas tree. This is two Christmas trees stacked together. And they use Wink of Stella on it with some gold embossing here. Let's see if there's anything inside. Here's another card using that corrugated embossing folder and the braided trim. I really like this too. Oh, I love the red rhinestones. And look at how they stamp the trees in the background with the green evergreen trees up here. That's a really neat idea. I really like this. Oh, it's Kathy Miller. <laughs> of course. Very, very pretty. And look at this one. I love a fun fold, and I love how this tree sticks down there like that. That's very clever. Ooh, check this baby out. This is from my friend Sandy. This is so pretty. This is the Christmas card you want to send that you don't have to write very much, right? <laughs> I love it. The Dashing Deer, that's where this framelit is coming from. Ooh, and this is very elegant and pretty. This is the galvanized metallic paper run through that um, tin tile embossing folder. I love that. And here's another pretty one. This uses the embossing paste down here. Look at that. I think they put some Dazzling Diamonds glitter in it also. Or this might be the glittery embossing paste. I'm not sure on that. Super, super pretty. Oh, and I love this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So they used a Spectrum ink pad and then put um, some of the, the Frost White. That's what it's called. Not First Frost, but Frost White Shimmer Paint. Put some of that on here and used the Copper. Well, maybe they used Copper. No, I think it's the Shimmer White. Copper um, Trim. Isn't that pretty? Hang on, I'll show you one of these Spectrum pads. I haven't used one in a long time. But Stampin' Up! sells one that is um, empty. So you can ink it up with the re-inkers. You know, everybody should have the re-inkers that go with their ink pads. 
if I can get it open. This is a Spectrum ink pad, and you may be familiar with these, but you um, store them open, and you and you put different color ink on each one of these pads, and then you push them together to stamp. But they're really cool, and that's what Lori used to stamp these. Isn't that neat? Yeah, very, very pretty. And here's another one. Love, love, love this. And they used the Vegas Gold Shimmer Paint to put dots all over the background. I love that. And our last card is right here. And look, here's that burlap trim that we used on the takeout box. Very, very pretty. I love all of these cards. Aren't they amazing? So, if you don't have the Winter Woods bundle, I know. I'm not going to apologize. You're welcome. You must have it. <laughs> it is incredibly beautiful. And, you know, yeah, you can make Christmas cards with it. But look at these. This is a great man card. This is a great man card. You know, this is another great man card. You can make some beautiful masculine cards. And this one, this is more, I don't know that this really says Christmas to me. It could. But if you stamped these trees in the circle, this is a total man card, right? Love, love, love this bundle. It is truly one of my favorites out of the holiday mini catalog and one that um, I'm pretty sure I will be keeping forever because it's so, the trees are just so cool. All right, you guys. That is it for me tonight. Um, thank you for coming and watching. Thank you for sharing my video. Thank you for sending all the love. Thanks for putting up with my, you know, crazy things that happen and stamping the wrong way. We're all human, right? I know you guys are very forgiving because I've certainly made enough mistakes. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Wishing you a wonderful week. And, um... I don't know yet what I'm going to do about that um, Facebook Live on the 18th, but I, I will not. I'm pretty sure I won't be live on the 18th unless I can get home. I just don't know. Anyways, I'm not going to make any promises. We'll see what happens. Um, I am going to go off and pack so I can go to Florida now. You guys have a great, great week. Bye-bye.